To start, all of your DocStation settings are saved in your documents inside the DocStation folder. Inside the mem card folders, you have all of your memory cards. Now go to your memory card settings in your DocStation settings, and here you have all of your memory card types. No memory card is pretty much self explanatory. It means it has no memory cards and you can't save your games. A memory card shared between all games works just like the original PlayStation 1. You have 15 blocks for all of your games. Here you can choose your memory card if you want. You can just use the default one that DuckStation gives you or you, if you happen to have memory cards in one of your older emulators like EPSX, you can use one of your memory cards if you have games in there. Separate cards per game game code. This means DuckStation will create a memory card with the game code. You can see here in the game play, game list or game playlist in DuckStation the game code or you can right click on it and go to properties and here it will show the game code and after uh, loading a game this will create a memory card with the uh, game code so even if you have games with different file titles it it will always use the uh, game code memory card separate card per game game title this is the default memory card that DuckStation uses this will save or create a memory card with the same name that is used by the DuckStation database or whatever database that DuckStation uses. So when you load a game, the, ga the memory card will be created with the name that shows up here in the DuckStation playlist. Even if you, even if your game has a different game, a, a different file title, the memory card will always be created with the name that shows up here. For example, if you see here, here down below the the name of the game or, or the name of the file that i have here is called lian cd but it will create a memory card with this name for example and if you go to the memory card folder it will have the same name as it shows up in the uh, duckstation playlist now for the separate card per game file title this will create a memory card with the same file title you have in your game folder so in my case my my game is called lean cd and it this will create a memory card with the same file title your game as if you go here to your duckstation playlist you can see this is the same game but with a different file title and this is uh, the same game but with, with a different file title and if you load up the game this will create a memory card with that file title and if you go to your memory card folders you can see that it's called it has the same name as the my game game's name Non-persistent cards do not save. This is like a temporary memory card. After loading a game, during that gameplay session, you can save a game, you can load the game, but after turning the power off or closing the game or closing the station, all of your save games are magically gone. In the memory card settings, you can do the same for the memory cards too. In the shared settings, you can choose your memory card directory or folder. 
by default it's in the mem cards in the doc station folder and here you also have a memory card editor if you want to import or export uh, saved games from one memory card to another that's it for this video and happy gaming